Today's episode is focused on jackfruit. What? It's been the most anticipated episode of Southern Girl Meets Vegetarian Boy. Jackfruit is very popular when it comes to vegetarian cooking. Today I'm gonna to show you three different ways to use jackfruit. Barbecue jackfruit, jackfruit chicken salad, and jackfruit nuggets. Let's get started. So you can get jackfruit most anywhere canned. It comes in water, brine, or in syrup. You just don't want the syrup one. So I have two cans of jackfruit. I've just drained off the liquid. And then you'll see that it comes in these little chunks, right? These little, this little fibrous part cooks down and so it seems like it's like shredded meat and then this part stays kind of together. So you get these like little nuggets which are very, very similar to pulled pork or pulled chicken but because this is a fruit, we gotta add some oil so that this gets crispy. So about a quarter of a cup of oil. This is chili powder. There's some salt in here, there's cayenne, there's paprika, um, there's like some thyme. It's my favorite chili powder blend. Use whatever your favorite chili powder blend is. You do need some cumin though. This is a tablespoon of chili powder. I'm gonna put in a fourth a teaspoon of pepper. Now that we've added the oil, the chili powder, and the pepper, we're just gonna give this a stir to coat everything. While I'm doing that, I'm using my spoon to break up any really large pieces. And what we want is enough fat and enough flavoring to coat this bad boy so that when we put it into the oven to dry it out, you get these little chewy, crunchy, nibbling bits. I like the word nibbling. I don't know if anyone else likes the word nibbling. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the word nibbling. Now that they're all coated, I'm just putting them onto my cookie sheet in a thin layer. You want each little piece to have some contact with the pan so we get a nice, almost sear. The oven's gonna be pretty hot, 400 degrees. Look at that, y'all. Okay? All right, now, time to bake. So I'm gonna throw this into the oven for 30 minutes bake it 400, then I'm gonna put barbecue sauce on it and throw it back into the oven. All right, it's very easy, but it does take a second. Now just wait 30 minutes for it to get done. What is happening is so much fun. It's getting kinda crunchy. It's getting really hot. It's gonna be spicy. If you like it or not, we're making jackfruit. Barbecue jackfruit. We're making jackfruit. It's not slap fruit. Okay, be careful, it's hot, but you're gonna pour on one cup of barbecue sauce. You can make your own barbecue sauce or you can just use a store-bought barbecue sauce, whatever you wanna do. It's not an exact science. You just kinda pour it on. All right, give it a stir. If you're in a hurry, you can just stop here. This is fine, this looks delicious. You just don't have any of the caramelized barbecue sauce yet. It's still good. I mean, this is like better than 90% of the jackfruit barbecue that you're gonna get, just that, that step. But if you wanna make it outrageous, throw this back in the oven for 15 more minutes or so. And you're gonna get all these little crunchy bits. Okay, let's go grab that jackfruit. Oh, you all, it looks so good. <gasps> Look at how good that looks. See, see all of this caramelization? That is what we want. It's gonna be sticky and chewy and crunchy and delicious and oh so satisfying. Look at it. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, you all, you ready to try it? I am. Okay, so I technically I know that you're not gonna get to try it with me, but you can if you make this recipe. So please make the recipe and also please subscribe to our channel so you can get all of these fun and wonderful recipes delivered to you on YouTube. <laughs> so now you have yourself barbecue jackfruit, which you can roll into any recipe you want. Casseroles, pasta, pizza, little hand pies. They're all delicious. I like to make barbecue sandwiches. What? I love a barbecue sandwich. And I'm just using a pretty standard brioche roll, you can use a potato roll. I don't get crazy with it, I keep it real, real classic. Yes, girl, look at her. I like to put on a little bit more barbecue sauce. I put a little bit on the top bun, right? Just as my moistener. 
And then I put on a little bit more sauce, just so my sandwich is messy. My favorite topping for barbecue is some coleslaw. This is just a vinegar and oil salt pepper slaw. That's it, that's all this is. And then we just take a bite. Who's ready to take a bite? I'm ready to take a bite. Who's ready to take a bite? I'm ready. Getting a knife, get, getting a knife. I'm getting a knife right now. I'm getting a knife, I'm getting a knife. I'm showing you how. You don't have to cut it, but I want to because I don't want to make a mess of myself. And then, boom. Hello. What a pretty little lady. Mm. It's so good. You guys, all those little caramelized crunchy bits are absolutely giving me the texture that I'm hoping for. A little bit chewy, nice and crunchy. The spices from our chili powder, not to mention the crunch and the tang from our slaw. It is the perfect barbecue sandwich. Don't go anywhere, everybody. We still have jackfruit salad and jackfruit nuggets to make, but I'm gonna finish this sandwich before I move on. Mm. Do you have barbecue sauce on my face? Uh, go right here. In the corner, I think you get a little tiny pot. A lot of times when you see a, a vegan chicken salad, they'll use jackfruit or hearts of palm or artichokes. And they take them straight from the can and then they mix in all of those fun ingredients like the vegan mayonnaise and mustard and all of your little like grapes or raisins and celery and stuff. But I like to do one extra step and that's to, to kind of dry out and season up the jackfruit before we ever put anything else with it. So it starts just like we did with the barbecue jackfruit. We put on some oil and some seasonings and we bake it in the oven. So you're gonna put on one tablespoon of poultry seasoning. This one has salt in it. It also has sage and thyme. There's a little bit of garlic in this one. And then a little bit of pepper. I'm just putting in a heaping quarter teaspoon. Pepper. And then a quarter cup of oil. The oil is really, really key here, as is the salt. So the salt is gonna pull out some of the water and then the oil is going to crisp up in the oven and give us that like kind of fatty mouth feel that we want. Without the oil, all this does is steam, right? You're never gonna get real caramelization on this because the water content of jackfruit is too high. Give this a stir. While I'm doing that, I'm just kind of breaking up all those little pieces. We have two cans of jackfruit here. That's gonna be enough for about four people. I spread it out into a thin layer so that my jackfruit is cooking against the pan that's gonna get really hot instead of steaming. If it's all piled up on top of each other, it's just gonna steam, right? So we wanna make sure that we're layering this one single layer all over the whole cookie sheet. And you want the jackfruit touching the pan because where it touches the pan, it's gonna get crispy. And we're gonna bake this at 400 degrees until it's nice and crispy. Look at that. Okay, so now, we're just gonna let that cool for a second while we build our sauce. And it starts with mayonnaise. You can use a plant-based mayonnaise or a regular mayonnaise. It's about a quarter cup. Quarter cup of sour cream. Two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Give that a little stir. Looky there. Green onions. It's about a half a cup of green onions. You can also use parsley or chives or basil would be delicious. I'm putting in a half a cup of walnuts. That's gonna give me a ton of texture, but also protein. You can use walnuts or pecans or almonds or pepitas or sunflower seeds. All of those are gonna be delicious in this. Cashews would also be delicious. I'm putting in grapes. This is just gonna give me a little bit of sweetness. Celery, because you always see celery in salads. That's two stalks of celery. And that's just gonna give us some crunch. And now we give that all a little gentle stir. If we added some apples to this, it would be like jackfruit and apple Waldorf salad, which is delicious. My grampy loves Waldorf salad. And now we're gonna add in our jackfruit. So you want some extra crispy little bits because all of the sour cream and the mayonnaise are gonna make the jackfruit get soft, right? So we want it, we cooked it 45 minutes, so we definitely get a little bit of crunchy texture that's going to remain as our jackfruit sits in all of those like dressing ingredients. Now one final mix. Look at this. You can put this in the refrigerator so it gets nice and cold and all those flavors marry. 
about 30 minutes, and then you're ready to eat. Once your jackfruit salad is nice and cold, you can use it however you want to, on a sandwich, on a bed of lettuce. My personal favorite is to put it into a little lettuce cup. I make this for Derek for lunch all of the time and serve it to him with little crackers in his lunchbox. Derek really does have a lunchbox. It's one of those like old school kinds. And one of my favorite things is to figure out how to make them um, like very classic lunches. And this is one of those recipes. He's ready to try this little baby. This girl. Can I take a bite delicately? No. Mmm. Just like my grandma did not used to make. Oh well. You hear all that crunchiness? It's celery and walnuts. There are those sweet little grapes in there. This is such a fun recipe for lunches. I think it's really, really hard to think about vegetarian sandwiches, especially vegan sandwiches, because they rely so much on cheese. And this gives you protein, it's satisfying, it has sweetness, it has crunch, it has texture, it has everything you want to be a sandwich or put it on top of a salad. And that's it, jackfruit salad. Sweet, crunchy, and perfect for your lunch. If I was only giving you two recipes, we'd be stopping there, but we're giving you three jackfruit recipes. Are you ready? Let's make a little fried nugget of fun. How about some jackfruit nuggets, everyone? Boom, that was a rhyme. Jackfruit nuggets, it starts with jackfruit that's come out of a can. I want the pieces to be slightly smaller than this. It's like a little bit too big for a jackfruit nugget, so I'll just break that down. I kind of break them down to about that size. We've cut down our jackfruit and now let's start adding some flavors. This is a few tablespoons of mustard, teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Give it a toss. All these little jackfruit nuggets are gonna get coated and they can hang out while we build our dredging station. Ooh, turn on your oil and let it start getting hot. Just medium heat. You need it at about 350 degrees. We're doing a two station. We're gonna have wet and dry. For our wet ingredients, you can use buttermilk or oat milk. This is a cup. This is a cup and a quarter of flour. Tablespoon of cornstarch. That's gonna make it nice and crispy. I'm also gonna add in onion powder and garlic powder. A Little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Give it a little toss. Using a large fork, I will spear a little, a little guy, right? And then I put him through the flour. Then I go into the liquid. And then I go back into the flour. And I get kind of like aggressive on that second pass so that I end up with some little shaggy pieces. And then to get them off, I just use another fork. Boop, you're ready to go. Keep doing this until all of your nuggets are breaded. Look at these little angels, who's excited? Okay, let's fry. We just drop in our nuggets. I have about a half an inch of oil here. You could deep fry these if you wanted to, but I'm more of a pan fry kind of girl. Let these cook on each side for about three to four minutes until it's nice and golden brown, and then flip them and let them fry on the other side for three to four minutes. You start to notice that they're ready to flip because the top gets a little golden, golden color to it. You ready? Whoa, one more minute. Just kidding. Like really be aggressive with your frying because that's what's gonna make it so crunchy. Jackfruit has a lot of moisture in there, so you do wanna push the limit of your fry. You really wanna go ultra crispy. You can serve these with ranch or barbecue sauce, ketchup, honey mustard, whatever your favorite dipping sauce is. Mine's ranch. Let me know what yours is in the comments below. Maybe there's one I've never thought of that I've gotta try. And if you're liking this content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hey, hey. The thing that I love about jackfruit and all of the recipes that we've made today are that they're incredibly versatile. So you can use our jackfruit barbecue in a number of ways. That jackfruit chicken salad can be served in a number of ways. Jackfruit nuggets can also be jackfruit nugget tacos or jackfruit nugget po' boys. Boom, now get to flipping. Hello. They look so good, right? Make sure to fry in batches. If you rush this process, you're gonna end up 
dropping the temperature of your oil too much and they'll be like light brown and soggy instead of golden and crunchy. So this is a great make-ahead recipe. I'm just gonna throw these in the freezer. Once my jackfruit is frozen solid, I'll put them into a little paper bag or a little zipper bag and then I have frozen jackfruit nuggets ready to go for the next three or four months. Whenever anything is frying, when it's bubbling a ton, it's because there's a lot of moisture being cooked off. Once that kind of settles down, most of the moisture is gone from the product and your breading should be crispy. Boom! You see that? You saw that. So often when we're talking about nuggets, we're talking about like kiddos. But I think this is a great recipe for adults. It feels fun. You can even turn them into like a Baja taco, right? Hello Taco Tuesday with the jackfruit nuggets. Look at those. I'm gonna let these cool for a second before I junk them and eat them because they are scalding hot. So these are perfect for a party and they're perfect for a Damaris because I like pan fried nuggets. Look at that, you all. A little bit of homemade ranch. I hope you can hear the crunch. Here, I'll try to take this bite first. It's so fun. The cornstarch is really important for that. Because there's so much moisture in those jackfruit, if you don't have that cornstarch, your breading can get a little bit soft. You want something that's gonna absorb some of the moisture as it fries, and that's what cornstarch does. Let's taste it. Mmm. Uh-oh. So the inside of the jackfruit is crazy tender, but the outside is crunchy, which those two textures are the best combination ever all of the flavor from the poultry seasoning plus the Dijon. And we have the onion powder and the garlic powder. It's very simple, but crazy flavorful. So today we learned to take jackfruit and turn it into barbecue, into salad, and into nuggets, which I think is pretty fun and super versatile. I hope you love these recipes as much as I do. Let me know in the comments below which one your favorite was, and I'll see you next time. Bye. From the window to the wall, till the sweat drip down my 